everyone, this is Amy. Welcome today to my channel. I'm going to be doing a flat brush uh, floral design. I am going to be using a number 12, a number 4, and a number 2 flat brush by a Magic. I will link the links down below so you're welcome to purchase through those um, down below my videos and through affiliate links. And then I've got a number 10 and a number 8 round brush by a Magic, a number 10 Deerfoot Stippler, and a fine liner by Westonia. Paints I'm using as usual are all folk art paints using yellow light, thicket, aqua, teal topaz, and wicker white. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the number. 12 flat brush to begin with and in this design I'm just going to randomly stick my brush between the teal topaz, the aqua, and the wicker white and just kind of just keep creating. This is a very easy design as, as normal. Um, that's what my whole whole channel is about is easy, very easy easy, oops, sorry, creations. And then come back over these. I'm just pushing the flat brush down and pulling towards the center, that's all. Just creating as I go. And I can keep adding a little bit here and there with the different paints because I definitely want to make sure that they're durable. And having a thicker coat will make them that way. And like I said, just keep playing with it until you get it to be exactly how you want it to be. Now I'm just going to put the petals in different directions. I can make them bigger, smaller, however I want, obviously. And I'm, as you can see, layering these. And you can make it to where you know, one's lighter than the other. I, I don't want them to, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. I don't want them to all be the same because I want you to be able to see them, obviously. Maybe even throw in a little bit of white ever so often. Just keep going. You're just going to make a bundle of flowers. Sorry, I keep hitting that. It's one thing that happens. Hopefully I'm going to get a new setup this year. I want to get a new setup. make better better videos. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave. That way you'll get notified whenever I create something new, which I'm always creating videos. I'm going to come up here. Actually, I've got a few here too. Let me go ahead and put more white in this. Put my plate down. I'm going to put one up here, kind of a lonesome little bud up here, or not bud, but flower up here. Not really considering this a bud since it's open. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of white because I definitely want it to be durable. And when you're doing this, if you find that it's not as durable as you want it to be as far as the coats are too thin, then all you have to do is just go back over them and give them another coat. And that just makes them a little stronger so they don't scratch off easily. And with this design, you can do it. You don't really have to give it too much of a 
dry time per se because it's just so easy to go right back over them. And it makes them thicker as you can see. And then again that makes it to where it won't scratch easily. That's why I say my designs are definitely for beginners. And if you're somebody that's an experienced painter, you can just use it as a design idea. Put your own little touch to it. I'm definitely hoping to do some other types of creations this year. Just trying to figure out what that is. My main thing here is to encourage people to be creative. All right, next thing I'm going to do is come in here with my fine liner. Now on this one, I'm going to put it into the teal topaz, and that's going to be my stem. And I'm gonna come out here as if, and I'm gonna put a little green with it too, and some of the thicket. But I'm gonna come out here as if I have several different stems. And I don't care if they really seem to be directly coming out or not. It's okay. And you can even put some white because I have this dark green bottle. It may not show very well. But I want to make it look like I have a lot of stems coming out from here because I have several flowers, right? If you wanted to get creative, you could even put a little ribbon around them. I'm not too concerned about that, so I won't be doing that, but you could if you wanted. All right, so let's go through here and start adding in some of the trying to think here what I use the other two smaller ones for. Actually I'm not too sure. You can take these two off your off your list of items. This is the four and the, and the two because I don't think I actually end up using them. Unless I go through this and I figure it out. I don't think I did. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay so on this one with the petals for the flowers I'm going to do the thicket and I'm gonna do the topaz, the till topaz. Okay, so we're gonna come in here, and you'll see, you know, the reason why I added the teal topaz is just to give it a little bit of color along with the green, and it's a, it's a little bit different than what I would normally use. But I'm just gonna come through here throughout the design and just put some simple little now I'm using the number 10 round brush and yeah it can pull some of the color from the fl flowers themselves it's not a big deal and if you're somebody that doesn't like that then I would say go ahead and hit it with the heat gun or give it some dry time and you'll be good to go but that's up to you and you can come out here from the from the actual flower um, just put them you know, wherever you think they work best. And then I'm going to just come down here a little bit, give it a little into the, into the little stems, and probably call it a day. I'm not going to do a whole lot of leaves on this, but that's what I'm doing on that one. And then the next thing I'm going to do is take my Deerfoot stippler, put it into my yellow light, and scrunch it down a little bit because it's kind of stiff. All right, 
get it good and full of paint and I'm just using one color of paint and I'm going to do very quick boop 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 I don't care if the full center is covered don't care not necessary very easy that's why I say anybody can do my designs that's the intent then I'm going to take the number eight round brush and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to very simply add in some of these and you're probably saying, oh, what are you doing that for? Oh, it just kind of gives it some more color, some more interest. And it's just another way of adding some more dimension to my painting. And it doesn't have to be more than one always. Although I typically do more than one a lot of times. I come out there and it just kind of adds to it. And just see where you need it, where you feel you need it, and there you have it. Alright, so then if you want, I'm okay with not doing this with this, but if you want, you can do your fine liner into the greens, maybe even into the the chill topaz, and just put stems, you know, wherever you can get them. I put it into the wrong color. And if you want to leave this part out, perfectly fine. You can just pretend and do it to some and not to all. That's okay too. All right, there you have it. If you want to add anything else, any dots or anything, you can do that. That's up to you, but I'm not going to. I like it just the way it is. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this on your social network with your family and friends, just hit that share button underneath the video and you will be good to go. All right, until the next time, Please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.